Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Bounds, and today I will be reviewing the New Balance 574 sneaker. Before we get into the review, I would like to give you guys a short history on the shoe itself. The New Balance 5 series took the 80s by storm and were the shoes to have at the time. With the 80s winding down, however, in 1988, New Balance paid their respects to the shoes that got them there when they combined the previous 575 and 576 models, which were both popular at the time, to make the 574 model. The New Balance 574 would quickly outsell the other two. The colorway we are reviewing today is the original colorway, the classic gray 574s, also known as one of the most simple but iconic shoes ever. They gained that status in large part to being nicknamed the OG Dad Shoe. Today we see these shoes worn by all ages, but primarily younger generations. So that begs the question, why the nickname OG Dad Shoes? Well that stems from the shoe's original target market of middle class men looking for a casual running shoe. The fact that the shoe has stuck around so long just goes to show how comfortable and stylish this shoe is. The shoe's only difference from when our dads we're wearing these and now is the fact that they used to be made in America. But contrary to belief that all New Balances are made in the US, in fact, if you look closely, you can find that they are actually made in China and Indonesia. However, sometimes they do have variations of American made 574s and you can tell because it will have the American flag on the tongue. Now let's take a deep dive into the quality of the shoe. At first look, the shoe has a sleek, rugged design but overall, the quality of the shoe is mediocre at best. The suede has a pretty rough feel to it, not very soft, as well as very stiff when it comes to bending. The parts of mesh on the toe, tongue, and side panels are decent and seem durable enough to not tear or rip as easily as others. Because the shoe is mainly gray, it makes the bold white laces and white 574 tag on the top of the tongue really pop and contrast the look. Moving to the inside of the shoe, you're greeted with a thick 574 branded insole with an off-white contrast inner lining. Another amazing thing about this shoe is the reflective material on the N and the back New Balance tab. Being known for comfort, these 574s are equipped with a classic N cap midsole, which provide great stability and support. Lastly, the black rubber outsole is your traditional 574 traction pattern and creates great traction on any surface. That's all I have today on these iconic shoes. Thank you for your time and please let me know if you guys think this shoe is worth picking up at just $80.